in the way of all the great reformation stories of history a group of christian believers in the small state of kerala in year 1961 decided to break with the unbiblical traditions of its parent church and start a new but nothing more than the bible as its foundation and the evangelization of india as its core mission withstanding all ridicule and persecution this church flourished in both kerala and abroad furthermore in god's time in the late 70s a small group of believers who were part of this church in india began to gather in their family rooms in the state of pennsylvania On November 1987 this group comprised of 14 individuals started a regular worship service at St Paul's Reformed Episcopal Church in Orland Pennsylvania Soon thereafter the Honorable Sabha Council of the Home Church in India officially recognized the group as the Philadelphia Parish of the St Thomas Evangelical Church of India What was the reason why we started this parish This was not in competition with anyone. It is not because we do not like the existing worship services, but we found the people those who came from India will either sit at home or go to some other churches unless we start something like this. So we thought of starting this church parish although we are few in members. Then Padikalachan then he was not ordained he told us that he is going to St Paul's Paul's Reformed Episcopal Church and he will ask the pastor if he, he could use their facility a gracious pastor graciously allowed us to use their nursery classes without disturbing what is there so we started in that nursery classroom and they gave that facility without any condition our people were worshiping in different churches including american churches we thought that as a church we should have a fellowship together and i was looking at various churches to worship and uh, for all the churches i found st paul's church to be st paul's reformed episcopal church to be uh, more uh, like our own church so i started going there and then when others came i approached the church authorities and they gave us the fellowship hall of st paul's reformed episcopal church philadelphia la evangel church inde oru സൺഡേ സർവീസ് നമ്മുടെ പാരീഷ് തുടങ്ങുന്നതിന് മുമ്പായിട്ടില്ലായിരുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് ചർച്ച് തുടങ്ങുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് നമുക്ക് സൺഡേയിൽ അവരവർക്ക് കംഫർട്ടബിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് സർവീസിലാണ് ഞങ്ങൾ സർവീസിനായിട്ട് പൊക്കോട്ടിരുന്നത് ഇവിടെ ഞാൻ കടന്നു വന്ന സമയത്ത് എം വി എബ്രഹാം അച്ഛനും പതുക്കൽ അച്ഛനും അന്ന് അച്ഛനായിട്ടില്ല ജോസി അങ്കളും ഇവിടെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അങ്ങനെ ഞങ്ങൾ പരിചയമാകുകയും കൂടാതെ സാബു ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അങ്ങനെ പരിചയമാകുകയും അതിനുശേഷം ഒരു ഇവാഞ്ചലിക്കൽ ഒരു കൂട്ടായ്മയുടെ ആവശ്യകതയെപ്പറ്റി വളരെ ബോധ്യം വരികയും ആ വർഷം തന്നെ എയ്റ്റി സെവനിൽ സെപ്റ്റംബറിൽ ഒരു കൂട്ടായ്മയായിട്ട് സെൻറ്റ് പോൾസ് എപ്പിസ്കോപ്പൽ ചർച്ചിൽ കൂടുവാനായിട്ട് ദൈവം അതിനുള്ള ക്രമീകരണങ്ങൾ ചെയ്തു തന്നു ബിഫോർ വി സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ആസ് എ പാരീഷ് വി ഹാഡ് റെഗുലർ പ്രയർ മീറ്റിംഗ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ഹൗസസ് വെൻ വി സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് വി ആർ ഓൺലി ഫോർട്ടീൻ പീപ്പിൾ including the one year old child jensi we had no order of worship or anything the order of worship was prepared only one year after that but we had a very orderly worship the regular program was prayer singing the songs in english and malayalam most of the songs were in english because our kids did not know malayalam then the scripture reading and we have ordered some new testament with psalms of an iv from which we read the regular psalms korchu manishar ullond aaradhana short aarnu rando munna paattu oru rando paadam vaaikum oraale cherudayittu prasangikkum pashe nalla oru kootaayam aarnu nalla ellarum ottorumichu paattu paadi munbottu poi kondu nalla oru kootaayam aarnu adu ippa nammal continue cheyunu but this group of believers was not without its share of problems soon after they began their regular weekly services at st paul's the group found that the time allotted to them to worship at st paul's was insufficient to meet all their needs moreover 
several members living in parts of Northeast Philadelphia had to regularly plan for and endure a difficult weekly commute to Orland. But despite these issues, though the group felt a longing to have a place of worship that they could call their own, they had and conveyed their utmost gratitude to the church authorities of St. Paul's for allowing the use of their facilities. St. Paul's uh, Reformed Episcopal Church is a very important thing to do in our prayers. We have a very important thing to do in the Northeast. We have a very important thing to do in the Northeast. We have a very important thing to do in the Northeast. We have a very important thing to do in the Northeast. We have a very important thing to do in the Northeast. Anate perayaan sengal ok, ini dia orang ini. Adat kalangan kita, nama kita orang orang kita kurus dari diri. Wujud macam dewi itu ni mendiri orang orang yang itu orang nilai panai itu dewi orang sahaja mak kita tu. Adanya itu orang orang dewi itu orang anak anak ni baru yang ada. The group met and worshipped together at Saint Paul's for a little more than 13 years. God showed His wonderful grace by enabling several individuals to join the group. Soon the group had grown to a sizable population of over 100, comprising of over 22 families in the year 2001. The group had reached a point in time when they realized that they had outgrown the premises at St. Paul's, and their search for a new place was handsomely rewarded by God on July 2001 when the group moved into its current premises at 9039 Eastview Road in the suburb of Philadelphia and conducted their first worship service. When we moved to this new facility, we were only 20 or uh, 22 families. We were not many. Now, as soon as we came here, everybody was uh, very enthusiastic. We had our own church building. We have enough time to start the Sunday school earlier. And also there was enough time to start the worship service. That brought a great change in our approach. And also we started to work in our community to reach out with the gospel. We were just like a family. Um, and Amy Abrahachan was our leader. We stood together, we supported Achen and Achen worked tirelessly for us. <laughs> Namuk ini local le, namuk ini patagan le lebih cendera lah. Ini abra cendera service a, akar itu namuk ini kelu marakwan sahdi kat dah. The small church grew in membership and activities. Several agents presided over the parish as vicar from the year 2001. Reverend M. B. Abraham Achen, after serving the parish as its leader for an illustrious 18 years, paved the way for several other agents to take up his mantle of leadership. Each of the successive vicars led the parish for three years, namely Rev. Dr. Sunny C. John, Rev. Biju Thomas, and Rev. Dr. Abraham Chaco. As the church grew in size, several of its members began to support mission activities in the far reaches of India. Several others began to sponsor Jubilee Memorial Bible College students and even others sponsored individual missionaries in their home fields. In this way, the Philadelphia Parish is actively taking part in fulfilling its home church's core mission of evangelizing India. Don't the mission vela, nama la, nama la, yadar gaya itu, thodangi. Adine dewi am monyot bunga ni sakai cju. Adine dewi oru pradipal no ana inda garan da nama la mission team am mission worker. We had only five members in this church at the beginning. We started to support four mission missionaries. Now we we have about thirty six missionaries or JMBC students we support from this parish. Our um, mission activity is not limited to, um, uh, to supporting financially to the missionaries. We have a very good uh, active um, mission outreach program, uh, including street ministry, and we have um, door-to-door uh, gospel package distribution. Where we have um, outreaches uh, in the India festivals and other locations. 
So we have a, a very active uh, outreach program and also uh, not only that we are supporting missionaries, we are also sending uh, mission teams to India on short-term mission trips. Philadelphia Parish is always a missional and missionary church and that is our uniqueness. Even with limited resources uh, we have done, still we are doing it. Since the inception of uh, Jubilee Memorial Bible College, uh, the STCI Philadelphia Parish has been standing with the ministry through prayer, financial and uh, moral support. Uh, so on behalf of the Jubilee community family, I want to express our sincere thanks to each and every members of uh, Philadelphia Parish. But it wasn't all a male show. The married women of this group banded together as the Savini Samajam of the parish under the slogan, Women Helping Other Women in the early 90s. They have undertaken several projects for the enrichment of the women from poor backgrounds in India, especially sponsoring the education of nursing students in India. Early 1990s, Savini Samajam Namal officially thought in Adhyam or a Prathana group I to Thodangi, Karanam Adhyam family members Illa in the Wonder Prathani I to Thodangi, Pinna later on or a year family I thought a young other Savini Samajam I to be a rich. As Savini Samajam, our goal is to be a godly women of the church. And for this, um, we do meet like once a month and we do spend time like in studying God's word and also in prayer. Our goal as Savini Samajam is to, as is women helping other women. And for this, we do undertake different projects. We do support nursing students. Uh, we do take one or two nursing students. Last year, actually, we supported three students and we also supported one um, student from JMBC. Uh, this was, we did this because this was also a means for evangelization of India through her. So we were pleased to do that and also we try to go visit other people when they're sick and um, we try to like cook meals for the families if they are in need. So in little ways God has been using us as Save Me Samajam to help other women. The need for teaching the Bible arose as the church grew in numbers especially when families with kids started to join the fold. The necessity for this type of a setting to teach the Bible had always been a major concern for the parish, especially to provide a counterweight to the massive cultural shifts that American youth face. The move to a new church building accommodated for that concern. The parish has confirmed many of their little ones in the faith. The parish has taken strong efforts to hold the annual Vacation Bible School as an outreach ministry to kids in the community. We know our children are hesitant to share uh, gospel with their friends in a secular society. So they are taught and encouraged to live a life uh, that reflects Christ's character and love. Our goal as a Sunday school is to teach our children God's word at a very early age. So we emphasize mission uh, in our Sunday school and VBS. We know that it is very difficult for our children uh, to uh, share gospel uh, in a secular world where in schools and colleges. Makalai devakti lum, jnanat lum, walrati kundu viruvanum. Nangalai pidakan maru kekani chana vadi lukudu avera narathuvanum vindi aana Sunday school lukudu. That's why even academically avera valandu verundu vola we want our sons to grow spiritually as well, so that's why we are sending him to Sunday school. We learn about the Bible and and memory verses every week in Sunday school. Sunday school is so much fun. Our teachers said to chat and it's also fun. And also I saw the two teachers and um also, the Bible verses are so much fun too. Sunday school is really fun because we learn memory verses and we learn about God's Word. We also learn a lot of memory verses, like a lot, and it's memorizing them. But later on in life when you realize they will actually help you. And our teachers really do help us through the discussions, the memory verses, and the tests also help us as well. Bobby Chach and Rain Chi, they're one of the first teachers that actually 
whenever they teach the lessons every week, you know, those lessons actually help me in real life. And uh, it's been a real blessing, you know, being in their class and learning their all their lessons and how it can actually help me, you know, the future. Um, in this underscore, you know, we focus on many things, you know, as far as, you know, different topics, you know, such as dating, addictions, and we focus on a variety of topics in Sunday school and it has, and those learning and being in the Sunday school has really prepared me uh, to face many challenges in my life as far as my family life, my personal life, being in my college life right now and it has helped me to set boundaries uh, as far as you know what I'm able to do and what I'm, I shouldn't do. The last 25 years of this parish is a testament to the wonderful mercy and love shown by our Lord Jesus. Looking back, our Lord's working is evident like daylight. These 25 years have been possible, first by the grace of God and next by the commitment shown by its many past vicars and members. Nothing more, nothing less.